primary hybrid. So I think tonight's debate is, you know, is, is a, a chance for the other three guys and the moderators to really hold Donald Trump's feet to the fire, and they should, because getting the nomination really should not be as easy as it's been for Trump so far for anybody in either party. It should be tough. You should have to run more of a gauntlet, and I think tonight you'll see mm. four people on the stage really focused on trying to get Donald Trump feet to the fire. Mike Barnacle. Mr. Steele, uh, despite all of this uh, nonsensical talk about the Club for Growth and other organizations, individuals pumping 20, 30 million dollars into some mm -hmm. campaign against Trump. Doesn't it really come down to Florida and Ohio and Marco Rubio and John Kasich? Yeah, at the end of the day, that's exactly where this train uh, either goes, continues on or ends uh, for both those campaigns. The reality right now in this race is the beachhead, the firewall, whatever you want to call it, is, is lined up in those two states. Uh, Donald Trump is slightly behind in Ohio and some of the polling there. He's way ahead in Florida. And so the dynamic right now is to put the pressure on those two states, which is what you're really seeing. And this really kind of focuses more on the Marco Rubio beach than anything else because the establishment wants so much for him to rise up and make that a one-on-one -on -one, because again they don't want Cruz um, race between uh, Donald Trump and Rubio but that at the end of the day is what this all boils down that's all this effort by uh, Club for Growth and others is to create a big enough wall to stop Donald Trump there and the worst case scenario Mike is to push this into the convention uh, to get Rubio and others close enough so that the battle for the delegates there does it doesn't look like they're taking something away from Donald Trump, but it's just the natural flow of the of the campaign. Okay, the act.